Howdy cap, my Farangatang friends, and Poon Poon Kuntai. How are you diddling? Um, I'm alright. I did go out on the Richard Gear yesterday, so I need a little bit of stodge. A little bit stodge, you know. You know how it is. Usually a McDonald's or something like that does after a night on the Richard Gear, doesn't it? But not today. Today we have CPs. Bolognese. Now it doesn't say Bolognese. It probably does actually. There's probably Bolognese here in Thai. But as you can see, it is all in Thai. There's no English on there. And it's 100% Australian beef. I think this is Australian beef. Is that New Zealand or Australia? Usually the beef here comes from Australia. So I guess it's Australian beef. Now this is penne pasta with bolognese and it's microwavable it does say five there but I don't know where it is in Thai is it five minutes you don't usually do fresh meals in five minutes usually three so I won't be putting it in for five uh, so we're gonna get this warmed up and we'll give it a taste I, I it's something new I've I've seen them in 7-eleven uh, and I thought I'd try one. Now, as you can see, there's Parmesan cheese on top there. We've got bolognese and then you've got your pasta. Um, all your information down here on calories and all that malarkey, fats and sugars. Uh, but obviously I can't read it. <laughs> it's a tie. Uh, there you go. So this is supposed to be eaten, I guess this is the 11th of May. What are we on today? Oh, it's uh, Star Wars Day today. It's the 4th of May, so may the 4th be with you. Well, may the force be with you. See if we've got any information on the back. Uh, there's some more nutritional information here, which uh, I can't read. Not because it's in Thai, it's because my eyes <laughs> can't read letters that small. I'm getting on a bit. Anyway, there's some information there on how to cook it and what have you. As I say, I'm going to just bang it in for three minutes and see see what it's like, and then we'll give it a taste. So, uh, let me turn it back over. Uh, CP, big company here, actually. They do eggs and things like that. So this is, and ready meals, clearly. Uh, so this is CP's... Spaghetti bolognese with, I think you pronounce it penne, is it? Penne rice? Rice. Penne pasta. <laughs> penne pasta. Anyway, let's get it microwaved up and give it a taste. So, we're back from the old radiation box with our bolognese and pasta. And there it is. I would say that that's quite a small portion, to be honest. <laughs> If you're going to try this, you might want to, especially if you're like me, a bit greedy, you might actually want to get two of them. I think they're 39 bahts each. Ah, okay, folks. We're just interrupting the program because I need to correct a mistake. I said that this ready meal was 39 Thai baht. It's actually 59 Thai baht. What was I thinking? Well, I had been out on the Richard Gear the night before, and maybe I wasn't thinking straight. I also didn't have the receipt. So, for your information, it was 59 Thai baht. I don't know why I'm talking in this strange and posh voice, but we'll now start the programme again. Thank you for listening. So there you go. Um, I did microwave it for three minutes. So I'm going to open it up now. Let's see, do the seal test, see if it opens up easily. Wish it's warm. It smells really good. There we are. Now, 
Anybody who's tried bolognese, especially pre-made bolognese in ready meals and things like that in Thailand, will probably tell you that most of the time there's a lot of sugar in it. It's actually quite sweet. This looks quite promising. It looks quite dark. So, let's have a little fidget around in there. Okay, so we'll just try the beef first. Now the cheese, the parmesan, is already in there. Okay, Australian beef, penne pasta, bolognese, let's give it a go. Okay, so it isn't sweet like you would normally get. Over here, they tend to put a lot of sugar in everything. Don't know why. Bigger piece of beef there. The sauce is actually quite nice. And the beef. Got a little bit of fat in it. It's not like really lean beef. But it's not like you're getting bits of chewing gum in there. <laughs> if you know what I mean. That you're chewing on it. Um yeah, it's not bad at all. Let's try a bit of the pasta. The pasta's put, cooked perfectly the way I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Tangy. Taste the tomatoes in there. The, the cheese is not overpowering. You can actually taste it, though. You can taste the, the cheese in there. All in all... That's not bad. The only thing I would say is you don't get a lot of it, as you can see. I'd do a child, I suppose. <laughs> a full-grown man? Maybe not. But it does taste like bolognese. It's 100% beef as well. Australian beef, I believe. Not New Zealand. And it's all right, yeah? It actually tastes... A little bit like homemade bolognese, I guess, if you made it yourself. It doesn't taste artificial or anything like that. Do you know when you get those tins of, uh, like, ravioli and bolognese in um, Heinz do and, and what have you, and it tastes, to me, it tastes weird. It has a kind of soapy taste to it. You don't get that with this. This actually does taste like beef bolognese. It does what it says on the tin. So... 39 baht, I believe, from 7-Eleven, CP, beef bolognese with penne pasta, not rice. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all for this video. I'm going to take this off and enjoy it now. I've got a bit of salad over there as well. So, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, give that bell a little flick, so you'll get to know when I'm putting anything else up, if you've enjoyed it. Uh, there are lots of other videos on there with food. I did a whole series of these self-heating noodle meals, which are uh, quite interesting, but I got a bit bored of doing that. I can't remember. I think I did four, maybe five of them. Check them out. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.